For installing MySQL in our system, we have to type MySQL in Google prompt and like this MySQL. Then you will get the first link MySQL.com. Right, you have to click on that and see what happens. A window will appear and you find the options over there. So let me close my window first. Okay, now these are the options, but we have to click on downloads. So we will click on downloads. Right, now this is the window which appear. Right, so go to the bottom and there is my SQL community GPL downloads. You have to click on there. So click on there and you will get another window for installation. First of all, we have to download it and then we have to install it. So we will download. You have to just click on my SQL community server, right? Now we will click on what we will click on community server and then we will get this window, right? We will get this window. Whether it's for your operating system, you can choose whatever operating system you have. I have Microsoft Windows. That's why I'm choosing Microsoft Windows. You can choose Linux, Mac, whatever you want. So you, I choose Microsoft Windows, whether it's for Windows 10 or earlier version. So you have to go with the 64 bit, right? In your system for Windows 10. So I have 64 bit. So I'll choose with Windows see this is confusing here here 32 and 64 bit is there you have to go with the m my sql installer msi right so go to the download page now when you click here you will see nothing is there now you have to choose the two option between them there is window msi installer and window x8632 bit msi installer see you if you see both have the memory comparison one is 2.4 m and another is 4.450.7 m right isn't it if we go with the minimum memory installation or download it is web community you can see here now you can say uh, the further options we have to extract from the internet so we don't want such uh, type of we will go with the 450. 7m right i'll go with that and i'll click on download so you have to click on download for better installation if you don't want the web community version so we will go with this we will click on download and after clicking on download you can see you can see the download procedure will be there now it's asking you you have to log in for this so we will not log in for you know we will not make an account or something we will say no thanks just start my download so we will click on no thanks just start my download i'll click here okay see if you see the downloading will be there my sql installer ms is there you can see now we have to wait for the download see you have to have patience with installation because whenever you go for any video uh, they are you know uh, jumping from one clip to another clip that's why you are uh, you know uh, whenever you watch the video and you say it's taking less time but when i install it take more time it takes time so have patience for it so i have skipped a little bit it takes uh, according to your you know internet speed so now i click on show my in folder i want to show this into the download folders because i have to install now because we have downloaded this right we have downloaded the installer now this is my sql installer right now i will double click on that and you know the installation process will be start in the system so window installer as you can see on the screen right so it's preparing for installation it takes time because my scale installer uh, is a installer which takes little time to install right so it will extract the files and then it will again install it into the system it depends on system to system or it depends on your networking when you are uh, downloading the software, then it depends on your 
you know ram how much the ram is there see now the process is, has been started for mysql installer 1.5 version is there now a window will be there and these are the options you can see these are the options developer default server only see and the setup description is there you can see right but we have to go with developer default we don't want the full version or a custom version we want a developer default so we click on the developer default and then we go with the next button these are the all you can say one by one you can see all the full version is like this custom version that means custom you can customize your window right so i'll go with developer default you also go with that because maximum your work will be done with the help of this so we will go with this and we will click on the next after choosing the developer default so i have to click on this next button now see now you don't worry about it because when you click on execute button automatically one by one these products are ready to install see you can see all the products whether it is connected to the c++ to the dot net you know python is also there documentation you have to just click on execute and wait for a while believe me it will take little time you can say it can take more than you know minutes so don't lose your patience while installing right i'm uh, just skipping the process uh, to make the video short for you otherwise it takes time whenever you install and uh, always remember that it will take uh, more than the minutes more than 3 4 minutes because it takes time you have to make the patience right so these are the products they are ready to install and one by one it's completing see i'm just skipping because i don't want to take your much time but you have to you have to remember this it will take time while installation right so you have to keep in mind that thing so now these all the things are complete now now we can move to the next button so there are many windows so don't worry about it they will be appear after next and next so don't worry about it now we will go to the next and we have not to choose anything so port is there 3306 i'll not do any changes in that you have to put as it is so we will not make we will go to the next and then we will use use strong password encryption and the second is use legacy authentication so i will retain with that now the actual portion is this now here you have to type the root password i'm again typing the you can use add user as well for example if you are a uh, you are in a server there are many users so you can take this add a user option i have taken you can use so i have username student and i am make add password for that it's up to you you want or not it it's not mandatory to do this add user or not you can just put the root password and go to the next right so i have click on next then you can say i have chosen standard system account nothing more than that then click on the next see i have already told you that there are many more men, windows to come now we have to do just nothing we have to execute this again we will click it on execute and we have to sit a while and watch all the things will be executed automatically this will not take much time but the only the initialization that is a database it will take as it's mentioned in the line that may take a long time so it's it take a little time otherwise the other options are not taking the time as the you know previous window was taking for executing that's it so it's all the executed you are having the ticks on that right so you will click on the finish button now now you have to click on finish button then the again a window will be for product configuration right you do not make any change you need not to make any change now this you have to always remember here you have to make the host name for the you know mysql whenever you are going for a command prompt or you are going for a you know gui version you have to make you know change for the this so what i will do i will make first the root the password which i have given earlier 
for the root you have to remember that make sure that you have to remember so whatever you password have to given in your root earlier in the earlier dialog box right now you have to provide that password here right so see i have made the wrong password so that's why it's saying connection failed now i'll give the right password which i have mentioned in earlier i will click on that i will go to the password and i will make sure that my password is correct for the root so i'll click on again give the username and the password because i have created the username as i already told you that i have created the user if you don't want you don't give that you give the root and the password so i have made that that's why it's saying credential were not good so i'll execute again and automatically the process will again start it for me so i have to wait a while for the rest of the things so when i click on the execute the window will be there and the configuration of sample and example was a successful now you have to click on again next product configuration is there nothing you have to do with this you have to just click on next now this is the last point of this now whenever you click on the finish you will get start my sql workbench and you will get my sql shell setup so finish it with the clicking finish and that's it this is the all for mysql installer and you have installed mysql into your windows or whether any other operating system you have the process is the same just you have to choose the operating system where i choose window right now this is your sql shell so we have not to you know worry about it we have not uh, to you know work on that see you can see workbench is also with that you can make uh, sure that whenever you have to work on my you know workbench my sql workbench you have to click on this plus sign you have to go to the connection name and you have to provide a connection name the host name whatever you want for example i say local host and my password is there in you know store in the wallet so which password was that the root password you have to give always remember that root root password you have to whatever you have given to the root password you have to mention it that there and you will whenever you press okay it will activate otherwise if you give the wrong password it will not right you have to mention it that so okay you have to mention the test connection if you if your password for the root is there it will do do the same same thing which is visible in your screen that is successfully meet the mysql connection that's it this is the only thing you have to do right the local host is there now i double click or a single click here whenever i click on that i have to do nothing i can see now the screen and the screen is visible to you the screen is there see now the screen is there and now it's ready for you know gui application that is a sql commands and the commands related to the database right so that's it this is the whole thing which we have done file installing your mysql right you can create the table and now if you want to go for the command prompt there is my sql 8.0 like this command prompt and you can you have to enter here a root password again you have to remember that if you are not you know uh, root password it will not come into the my sql now you can create the tables you can make the database you can you know work on the all the sql commands and pl sql whatever you want to do that isn't it so these are the two types of versions for sql my sql you can say my sql command prompt version and mysql gu isn't it and the gu form is called as a workbench right so that's it for this mysql download and installation hope you like this you know video and if you really like this and if you really think that it is useful for you make a thumbs up and subscribe the channel share the channel to your dear ones so that they also learn how we can install the mysql 
right software and this is very very easy if you go one by one step by step 